Hi, Rankin family. I'm excited to share with you this West End Homes right here in Jordan Ranch. This one is in Fulcher, Texas. This is the Carter. So I know I showcase on this one uh, the Preston as well as the Lorraine 2, which was a one story, but this is gonna be the Carter. More square footage, more upgrades, fantastic. Right to the right, we are gonna have the study. And as soon as you see, you can tell you have the tray ceilings with the crown molding and the beautiful ceiling fan, as well as the uh, T island in there. It's a T desk, it's an upgrade. Some folks love it, some folks don't really care too much about it, but it just depends on personal preference. And then that would essentially be the garage right there. But what we'll do is we'll start right here. So that way you can see the formal dining room. This will have the crown molding on the top. If you notice, the crown molding is actually painted. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can right there. So that's one of the first we've seen that. But as soon as you see the glass blowout lighting fixtures overlooking the dining room table, I think it looks fantastic. And then what we'll do is we'll go down this hallway right here so you can see how we're looking as far as the bedrooms are concerned. This will be your powder bath right here. Definitely unique. You have your beautiful great cabinetry with your brass handles. And this will be your utility room. You got your nice washer and dryer built in uh, countertops right there so that way you can fold clothes and all that good stuff but before we go to the primary i'll show you the first bedroom right here so you have plenty of space you have that nice elegant carpet in here as you can tell you have plenty of room for all of the furniture this definitely would be perfect for a guest room just because it's sectioned off all the way over here down the hall and this will have its own bathroom attached to it as well, you have your brass um, fixtures as well. And this one has a nice size closet, <laughs> not too much, but not too little. You got your tile in here, tile backsplash, absolutely gorgeous, definitely elegant as far as the backsplash is concerned. Let me know in the comments below what you folks think about it. I even love the lighting fixture right there. I think it definitely adds a nice touch. And then we'll head this way so that way you can see the common areas as far as the great room is concerned. Wow. Look how gorgeous the great room is. You got your high ceilings, the LED ceiling fan in here. You got your sky windows up there. You have your electric fireplace. You got your built in shelving over there for a lot of the decorations that you may have with the cabinetry as well. And I know a lot, I'm getting mixed comments as far as the brass handles. Let me know what you folks think about that. I personally like it, um, but you know, of course you might say I'm biased or what have you, just depending on some of the homes that we showcase. So let me know what you think, but this will be your beautiful, beautiful kitchen. Fantastic. So it's open to the great room. You got your wooden range hood. You got your pot filler. Let me put that back a little bit so that way. There you go. Looks a little bit better right there. Not to extend it out, but you got your great cabinetry, brass handles again, pot filler. You got your six burner built in stovetop right here as well. Same thing, built in microwave, built in stainless steel oven. And you got plenty of space for a double door stainless steel refrigerator. And then you have a nice size walk-in pantry as well. So, so far, so good. Looking pretty great. You got your breakfast area over there as well. And then what we'll do is we'll head to the primary bedroom. I won't keep you waiting too long. Absolutely gorgeous. Wow. Fantastic. You got your double tray ceilings on the top with crown molding. You got your bay windows right here for those plenty of room you got your lighting fixtures over your nightstands right there 
king size bed with the two nightstands and you still have a decent amount of room. I don't know if I would have put that uh, chair over there just because it looks kind of tight over there, but let me know what you folks think. I mean, to each his own, I'm not an interior designer, but that's just my personal take. All right. And then looking in your primary bathroom, your ensuite, you got your nice standing standalone soaking tub right there. You got your vanity area over here, the his and her sink, got your tile flooring, a lot of the brass trim in here as well. Got your nice size walk-in shower with the tile backsplash again. So definitely look, I like, I mean, I like it. It has its own little thing going on in here. Not too bad, not too shabby. And then this will be your closet right here. You got your window right there. And then pr plenty of uh, of natural light. That a lot of folks love. And of course, if you are a returning viewer, welcome back. I'm absolutely ecstatic to have you. And if you are brand new to the channel, this is your first time visiting. My name is Marcus Rankin. I'm a Texas realtor. I get calls, texts, and emails every single day from folks looking to make a move out here. So if you're in that boat now or in the future, you can reach out to the information below and consider hitting that subscribe button since I'm bringing tours like this every single week for you. So now we'll go up the curved staircase. You have your beautiful rotunda ceiling with the brass chandelier again. And you got carpet upstairs. And then we'll head straight there so that way you can see the game room. You got your tray ceilings on top with the crown molding again. Always love when they have the pool table in here. I think it just adds a nice little touch. And then you have your media room. Then you got your double sliding doors right there. Tray ceilings again in there. And look what we got to the right. Got a little seating area right here. Got a little coffee bar area. You can put some popcorn. Just kind of have the family there while everybody else is watching a movie. Definitely unique. That's one of the first that we've toured that had that little area. So I think it added a nice touch. Let's go into this bedroom right here. Wow. Got plenty of space in here. You got the mirror right there. If you wanted to utilize this as a gym, but you definitely have plenty of room and it has its own closet. So most folks would probably not make this a gym is what I'm assuming. Most folks would just use this as a bedroom, but you know, just depending on what needs you have. Shower tub combo. You have that brick like uh, backsplash right there. Definitely unique. And look at this lighting fixture right here. <laughs> Almost a throwback. And this bathroom, essentially, if you have that door closed right there, you can access from the for the media room and the game room. That way, folks can have access right there. And then this will be next bedroom. You got your little sunroom area over there. LED ceiling fan on top. This is <laughs> pretty cute right here. Wow. If my daughter seen this, she would be ecstatic. We'd probably have to move in today. She would love that. All right. And then you got your lighting fixture right there. This will be a Jack and Jill attached to this one. You got your tile um, flooring right there. Shower tub combo again. Brick like backsplash in this one as well. So the other one, you had that white brick backsplash. This one, you have the colored one. Definitely nice. Fantastic. And this will be the final bedroom right here. So you got the LED ceiling fans again in here. Got plenty of space. Plenty of room. And you got your walk-in closet. So definitely fantastic. Even right here, you could put that desk how you have. 
Some folks might just put a decoration right there, just depending on your personal preference. But can you imagine walking downstairs, seeing all the family right here gathered, depending if you like your family, depending if you don't, it may or may not be a good thing. But if you can imagine walking down your steps and having everyone that you love down here enjoying themselves. And then let's take a look at the backyard. And this will be the extended covered backyard patio. You got your nice upgraded ceiling fan on top. You got plenty of space. You have that tile like flooring, very durable. Look at that. Fantastic. Yeah. So I think, I mean, to me, I, I'd probably give that a eight or a nine. Let me know in the comments what you think. And that, folks, is West End Homes. All right, Rankin family. So I am ecstatic about showcasing this beautiful property. I've been waiting for some time to share this on this channel, and we finally got access to it. This is the Asher by West End Homes right here in Fulcher Lakes. Absolutely gorgeous. If you even notice the black exterior, it's very rare that we see properties with the black exterior, but I think it adds an elegant look. This one's gonna have five bedrooms in there. It's a three car garage. You got the multi-stone right here, the multi-tone stone with the double doors as soon as you walk in to the covered front porch. And this one's gonna have the glass pane, which adds an elegant look to it as well. And this is gonna be, as soon as you walk in, you're gonna have the beautiful foyer. So on top, you have the rotunda-like ceiling with the chandelier coming down in the curved staircase. But what we'll do is we'll start right here to the right so you can see the half bath, also known as the powder bath. You got that nice accent wall right there. You got the beautiful tile flooring right there. And you have the white uh, cabinets right there. And so this will be your coat closet. And then we'll go right across the way so you can see the first bedroom. Absolutely gorgeous. You have the candlelight chandelier coming down. You have that built-in bench right there on the window seals. Absolutely gorgeous. Look how much room you have inside of this particular bedroom right here. This one will have a bathroom that is attached to uh, the bedroom, so which is fantastic. A lot of folks absolutely love that. How we always talk about that this would be perfect for a guest room. And I think this uh, definitely does it justice. So then right here, you're gonna have your walk-in shower with the black shower head right there. You have the unique lighting fixture coming down over the sink. Absolutely gorgeous. Now keep in mind, folks, this is the model house. So how we talk about some of these upgrades can or may or may not be in the actual inventory home, okay? And then, so what we'll do is we'll take a look at the great room, absolutely gorgeous. Look how much natural light comes inside of here. And then if you notice, you even have your electric fireplace right here, almost like an oversized fireplace, which is fantastic. You can only imagine during winter nights or Christmas, this will be perfect. So you got your 20 foot ceilings in here, beautiful chandelier coming down. And I know you can kind of see upstairs to the second story, but we'll go ahead and showcase the kitchen before that. So absolutely gorgeous. You got your wooden range hood. You got the cabinet crowns on the top. You got your quartz countertops right here, oversized island. Absolutely gorgeous. And then if you even notice to the backsplash, definitely unique backsplash right there. You got the pop filler as well. Now this one's fantastic. You got your farmhouse sink with the stainless steel appliances inside of here. And it definitely looks fantastic. You definitely got to see it in person. It looks a thousand times better, probably, maybe, I think so but you got your utility room right here with all the up get upgraded uh, cabinetry right there as well. And then this will be your pantry. So you got plenty of space. 
And like I said, this is a three car garage. It'll be a tandem garage, which some folks absolutely love. You got your epoxy flooring inside of here. You got the access to the side of the house and a tandem essentially means instead of side by side, you have them stacked right there. All right. So let me know so far what you folks think about it. And even going into the breakfast area, you have your tray ceilings with the wood engineer flooring on top. I think it adds a nice touch, very unique, very well thought out. And then inside the primary, look how beautiful this is. You have your double tray ceilings on the top with your LED ceiling fan, plenty of space inside of here. You got three windows on, and of course right here you have that nice accent wall as well. Look how much room you got in here. You got the two nightstands king size bed dresser you got the you got a little bench right there you got the chair and you still got plenty of walk room even just looking at the brass lighting fixtures over the nightstands definitely adds a nice touch and i'll pan one more time so that way you can see all right and now let's take a look at the primary bath you got the brass uh, the brass lighting fixture on top, chandelier. You got your nice soaking tub, his and her sink, and a little vanity area over there as well. And then your toilet will be right there to the right. And then this will be your walk-in shower. You got your brass waterfall shower head as well. Tile backsplash. And then you got tile flooring in here, marble tile flooring. And this will be one of the closets right here. This will probably be for my fellas. And this will probably most likely uh, be for the ladies, most likely. And the primary bathroom closet will be attached to the utility room. But we'll go back through here so that way you can see the main area of the house. And of course, if you are a returning viewer, welcome back. Always great to have you. If this is your first time to the channel. My name is Marcus Rankin, a Texas realtor. I get calls, texts, and emails every single day from folks looking to make a move. So if you're in that bucket now or in the future, you can always hit the link in the description below and we'll get you taken care of. And then I'll pan one more time to the great room. And then let's go take a look. We'll go up the curved staircase, which adds a nice, elegant look. And I can't wait to share the ceiling in the game room. Wow, look how beautiful that is. So you have the beam running across the cathedral like ceiling, essentially an A-frame right there. Absolutely fantastic. Look how much natural light that comes in just the game room itself. And we haven't even seen the media room. And then you got your Sputnik chandelier right there. And the good thing is about this is if you've noticed, you have enough space for a pool table. Plus you could even have a poker table right here or anything that you really want. You can even add a whole couch or how, you know, a L section uh, sofa. So that way you'll be taken care of. And then even inside the media room, you have the beautiful theater like lighting fixtures. You definitely have plenty of space for any amount of entertaining guests. And then so upstairs, you will have a total of three bedrooms and that'll make five bedrooms. So plenty of space for a nice size family or any growing family. That way you don't have to worry about upsizing in the future. And this will be the first bedroom upstairs. So they have it essentially as a nursing room, but you could use this for any type of room that you need. You have a decent amount of space in here with a nice size closet as well. And then this will be your bathroom. It's essentially a Jack and Jill. You got the lighting fixture with a circular mirror, 
the white cabinetry with the tile flooring. And this will be your shower tub combo with the black shower head and the black shower faucet. Okay. And they definitely kept it uniform in here. And this will be your second bedroom upstairs for a total of four so far. Got your LED ceiling fan right there. And then you have a nice size walk-in closet as well. And then this will be another full bathroom shower tub combo again with the tile flooring, zigzag or brick-like backsplash right there, black lighting fixture. And if you notice, you got the wood cabinetry on this one. So let me know in the comments what you folks think about that. And this will be the fifth and final bedroom inside of here. Absolutely gorgeous. So you definitely have a decent amount of space in here. If you remember, I showcased the Carter on this channel. I've showcased the Preston and I showcased the one story, which was the Lorraine two. And a lot of folks love that. And so this is just give you a basis of the Asher. Okay. And then let's go take a look at the backyard. And this one does have an office. It's being occupied right now, but essentially that would be it right there. All right, Rankin family, you knew I couldn't leave the house without making sure I showcased this study for you. So here it is right here. Let's get back to it. Okay. So let's go take a look at the backyard. Uh, and you have a decent amount of space. And even inside of the study, you will have the tray ceiling. So similar to that up there. And this is the extended backyard patio. Wow, perfect for entertaining. Wonderful. I think it would look really nice if you were to add a sliding glass door right there. But if you don't want it or don't need it, I guess this will definitely do, but absolutely gorgeous. And this will be the size of this particular lot. A lot of times they will sell off the model house eventually, but usually that's not until they got all the inventory sold. And that is the back of the property. So Rankin family, that is the Asher. All right, Rankin family. So we are looking at this beautiful Lindy by Weston Homes, this property is absolutely gorgeous. You are not gonna wanna miss the inside of this one. This is probably close to one of my favorite properties by Weston Homes. And this one's a one story, which is absolutely desired. As soon as you walk in, you're gonna notice these beautiful tray ceilings in the foyer. You got that long hallway, but we'll start in the first bedroom. Look how gorgeous this is so you have that beautiful wood accent wall on the back right there you have 14 foot ceilings unbelievable when i saw this i was so in shock it was ridiculous so of course this could be utilized as your guest room you're going to have carpet inside of here keep in mind guys this is a model home so uh, a lot of these are going to be some of the fancy upgrades as you can see right here, of course, you got the tile backsplash right there. Absolutely gorgeous shower tub combo with the tile flooring. And then even inside of this one, more of like a Hollywood bath or a Jack and Jill kind of deal. And this will be your second bedroom. So, of course, they do share that um, bathroom right there. But you still got plenty of space. So if you notice inside of this one, they don't have the high ceilings like in the other one. So that one could be utilized, like I said, as a guest room. This could be for the kids and things like that. And of course, this is your first time to the channel. 
My name is Marcus Rankin. I'm a Texas realtor. I get calls, texts, and emails every single week from folks looking to make a move out here and buy and sell real estate. So of course, if you do want more information, I have all the information you'll need in the description below. And if you're a returning viewer, welcome back. I really appreciate your loyalty. Hopefully you're enjoying these videos because I'm trying to bring them every single week just for you. If you, as you can see inside of this bathroom, you still have that mirror framing right there. It looks very unique, kind of like that woodwork right there. You got quartz countertops inside of here. Even walking into the standing shower, you got your nice shower bench with your tile backsplash. Looks fantastic. Then you even have your walk-in closet kind of sectioned off. And I can't wait for you folks to see the kitchen in this one. I love the kitchen. I had a client that came through here and uh, this was one of their choices right here. They wanted this one or Perry Homes and they decided to go with Perry Homes, which was amazing because I would have thought they would have went with this one. They were contemplating for well over two days that you choose this one. But as you see, you even have your six inch baseboard with the molding in there. And this will be your great room with your kitchen. So if you notice, you have your cathedral like ceilings on top with the exposed wooden beam. Great for entertaining folks and things like that. You have plenty of space. And even right here, I'll show you real quick the study. Look at that. You got your exposed beam in there. You got your brick accent wall as well. Plenty of space. But look how gorgeous this is. You even have your fireplace right here centered. Looks perfect. Look how beautiful that is. You can't get much better than this. And of course, you know, one stories are highly desired. So this will be perfect because you still have plenty of space. Even right here, you got your nice little coffee bar area and look how gorgeous this is so you have your quartz tea island in here with your wooden range hood the cathedral like ceilings extends into the kitchen as well a lot of them you'll see they'll either be in one of the other rooms so i like how it extended it all along right there looks fantastic and then of course you have your pot filler right here plenty of space, great for entertaining folks. You got your farmhouse style sink right there. Look how huge this island is. Perfect to have the family around here for Thanksgiving. And of course you have your mud room right here. Right to the right would be your garage, but this will be entering in your laundry room. Of course you got the cabinet crowning and things like that. And I'll even show you the pantry. Have a nice size pantry as well. But look how gorgeous this is. I'll pan one more time before we go to the primary. Absolutely beautiful. You even have your stainless steel appliances built in. And this will be your primary bedroom. Look how gorgeous this is. So if you notice on the top, you have your double tray ceilings with the LED lighting, crown molding on the top, which is a great feature in my opinion with the accent wall right here as well. Two chandeliers going down over the nightstands. Look how gorgeous that is. So if you can imagine the ambience in this room, you know, you have the lights off and you know, it's seven o'clock and it's a perfect time. And then you have your tray ceilings in your ensuite right here. You got your vanity area over there. You got your luxe shower, your beautiful Hollywood bath. Look at this. It just looks fantastic with your standing shower, almost like a Marilyn Monroe shower right here. It looks great. And then I'll let you even see. Of course, you got your standing shower with your nice tile backsplash with your shower bench. Tile flooring looks fantastic. And this is your walk-in closet. Plenty of space in here for any size wardrobe, a growing wardrobe. We all have those clothes that are just sitting in there that we don't even wear, but you'll have plenty of space to store that as well. 
looks absolutely fantastic. And let me know in the comments what you folks think about that lighting fixture. I think it definitely adds a nice, unique taste. Absolutely gorgeous. And this will be the four bedrooms. And like I said, keep in mind, folks, this is the model house. So a lot of times some of the standard upgrades may or may not come with this one. But as you can even see with the two chandeliers going into the foyer chandelier right here as well. This one in the dining room, you have the tray ceilings again with the crown molding on top. And then even right here, you have your nice wine cellar as well. Now, this is definitely an upgrade right here as far as a wine cellar. There's a couple inventory that they have right now that don't have that wine cellar. But of course, if you want to opt for it, we can make some something happen for you. And then now going into the backyard, you have your nice oversized covered patio. You got tile flooring in here. You got that brick exterior. And just depending on if you like the brick or not, we have some other options for you that make or that may make more sense for you. And of course, this is the backyard. So this one is in a community that's more kind of in the hills it feels like up north houston so this is what we're looking like and that folks is weston homes <music>
And then this is your great room. Absolutely beautiful 20 foot ceilings with the recessed lighting inside of this room right here. You have your electric fireplace. Fantastic. Look how gorgeous this looks. And even just looking at the color tone itself, I think it just adds that nice touch as far as modernness is concerned. If you hear the word modern, this is probably what you would be thinking about, in my opinion, right? And of course, now we have the beautiful kitchen. West End Homes, they do a fantastic job of having the kitchen open to the great room. So that way you can have an inclusive conversation with all of your family members or any guests that you have here. But you do have your stack cabinets on top right here. You got your stainless steel range hood with the beautiful backsplash that continues all along right here as well. It's fantastic. You got your waterfall countertops. Look how sleek this looks right here. Wow. And even the lighting fixtures right above the island. Now, this is fantastic. Let me do one more pan before I show you the breakfast room. Wow, look how beautiful this is. Just the color tones itself. They did a fantastic job on that. And then now, you got your breakfast area right here. You got your tray ceilings with the recessed lighting. Again, you have plenty of space for a great size dining room table, as you can tell right here. All the windows all along there. We love that on this channel without a doubt. Wow. Can you imagine all your friends and family right here? Wow. Beautiful. And now let's take a look at the beautiful primary bedroom. So you have your beautiful stainless steel candlelight chandelier right above your king size bed with the beautiful accent wall right there. Now this is a room right here. Not too much furniture. You have a modest amount of furniture in here, which is perfect. I think it does a great job of showcasing this room. And I'll pan right here so you can see, look how beautiful that is. Wow, absolutely gorgeous. Now let's take a look at the primary bathroom. Wow, absolutely fabulous. Look how beautiful these lighting fixtures are right there as well. You got your quartz countertops again, tile flooring inside of here with your nice standalone soaking tub right here. Wow, fantastic. Look how beautiful this shower is. You got your black waterfall shower head right there. Oh my goodness, you cannot go wrong with this. And then the tile flooring extends in here. A lot of times the homes that we showcase, they have the carpet extending inside of the primary closet. But in here, they did a great job of keeping it continuing in here or at least continue in the tile in here. Fantastic. So can you imagine living here? You definitely would not regret this whatsoever. Again, this is the Ellicott Weston Homes. They have quite a bit of plans, but this is definitely doing justice so far. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. And of course, if you are a returning viewer, welcome back. Always great to have you. And if this is your first time to the channel, my name is Marcus Rankin. I'm a Texas realtor. I get calls, texts, and emails every single week from folks looking to make a move out here. So if you are in that bucket now or in the future, of course, reach out to the contact information below to be happy to assist you. And consider hitting that subscribe button. I'd love to have you become a part of the Rankin family. And that way, you know exactly when I drop a new video every week. So this is what you're greeted with right here. Again, you got your tray ceilings. You got your media area over there. You got the lighting fixtures that adds that theater like feel again. It's not a lot of space, but depending on what you plan to use this for, it may be just adequate for you. It's your beautiful 
lighting fixture coming down as well. So it's a little snug. I don't know if you can see right here. Again, this is 3000 square feet. So it just kind of gives you a basis. If it's something where you need a little bit more room, the Asher or the Carter might make more sense for you. But I'd love to hear your thoughts below in the comments. Okay, this will be your third bedroom. Of course, this one might be locked. Yeah, it is. But that would be essentially where your attic would be. And I love how they have this nursery set up right here. The rooms aren't too big. Um, like I said, depending on what you plan to use these rooms for, it may or may not make sense for you. I think in my opinion, if you have a bigger family, it might make sense to go with a bigger floor plan such as the Carter, just because as you can see, it is a little tight but that does not take away from the beauty of the floor plan or the upgrades or the furnishing or the furniture rather itself. It's still a lovely plan in my opinion. And Hey, you know, you might look at what I'm seeing and say, Hey, that's ex exactly what I was looking for. Right? So really to each his own, they made it for a reason and it is a good seller without a doubt. All right. So you have your Jack and Jill, bathroom your shower tub combo with the stainless steel shower head right there you got unique zigzag tile flooring inside of here as well i don't know why the camera just did that and then you got the other sink right here you got the white cabinetry with the wooden mirror frame again and this will be heading out and you got a nice little closet right here put comforters or sheets and things like that and that was the upstairs right there a showcase right here so that way you can see looking down over the great room okay and then i love all these windows right here i definitely love the chandeliers coming down right here so as you can see you really don't need all these lights on because you have plenty of lighting coming in from the sun right there so what we'll do is we'll take a look at the backyard. Let me know what you folks would think. Do you think a sliding door would be perfect right there? Or are you okay with the access door on the side right here? And this would be your covered patio. So you got your beautiful ceiling fan up there. You got tile flooring in here. You got a decent amount of space to put your patio equipment and things like that. And then this would be your yard. So this is on a 50 foot lot, just for reference. And that folks is West End Homes. What's going on, Rankin family? So we are back again with another beautiful property tour. This is by Weston Homes again, but this is the Lindy. So a lot of you folks may recall, I showcased the big sister of this one, which is called the Lorraine 2. And I wanted to bring you something that was a little bit uh, smaller, but it still has the uh, you know upgrades and the square footage that makes sense for a potential buyer. But as soon as you walk in, what you're gonna notice is the beautiful tray ceilings with the exposed beams right there, going down the hallway. And then also you're gonna have wood flooring inside of here. And what we'll do is we'll head right here. So this is gonna be your first bedroom. It's gonna essentially be a Jack and Jill. It's gonna have a connecting bathroom to the other bedroom. But this is what we're working with. If you recall, if you haven't seen the other video, it's the most popular one on this channel thus far. And um, essentially you'll be able to kind of reference that. If you haven't seen that, I highly suggest right after this video, go ahead, checking that one out. And that way you can see what we're getting at. But this does have a little under $200,000 in upgrades total. So just to keep that, uh, as a base point or as a reference, 
base starting point at this current time of the recording of this video is um, mid 500s. So that'll just kind of give you a reference point. I really usually don't like to stipulate or say pricing on the video because of course prices are always subject to change and the price may or may not be something that you would pay if you would get something similar. So as you can see, you have this wooden mirror framing right here. You do have that shower tub combo inside of here with the beautiful shower surround. And this is gonna be your second bedroom. So you definitely have plenty of space for this one being the smaller sister of the Lorraine two. You definitely get a basis of how we're looking. The bedrooms in the Lorraine two were quite bigger than this one, which is the Lindy, but depending on what you're utilizing it for, it may be sufficient space for you. Okay. So this will be as soon as we're going down the foyer and we'll head right here to the right. So that way you can see the third bedroom. So you do have the recess lighting in here with the LED ceiling fan. As you get a reference right here, it's a little snug, but I think it definitely has enough space in here, depending on how much furniture you're gonna be putting in here. As you can see, you have that beautiful accent wall right there. You got the large baseboards all along right here as well. And then going into the connecting bathroom, you have quartz countertops, you have this unique mirror right here. I love it. And then you have your tile flooring inside of here and you have your nice size standing shower. So you got your black shower head right there. You definitely have enough space. And then you have your nice size walk-in closet. So you do have carpet inside of here, but like I said, in the main areas of the home, you're gonna be, uh, have, you're gonna have wood flooring essentially. And I wanted to make sure I brought you this one dressed up. I seen the Lindy when it didn't have a lot of the upgrades or it didn't have some of the other, um, you know, furniture and things like that. And it definitely didn't do it justice. So I wanted to bring the best of the best for you folks. And of course you got your toilet. And then we'll head this way so that way you can see the beautiful great room. As you can see, you have your cathedral-like ceiling right there. You have that painted beam as well as the tea island right here. And if you notice, even going into the kitchen, you got your pot filler with your wooden range hood, your built-in oven right here, stainless steel. And if you notice the wood flooring, it extends throughout here as well. As you can tell, it's absolutely gorgeous. This is definitely a bestseller right here even going into your great room if you notice that electric fireplace right there fantastic and then sectioned off right here you're going to have your primary bedroom you do have the exposed beams inside of here with the tray ceilings again the beautiful chandelier coming down as well and they definitely didn't skip a beat inside of the primary as you notice they have plenty of space inside of here because as you can tell, you have your king size bed with your two nightstands and you still have sufficient space. And then you even have your dress over here. You definitely have enough room maybe to put a chair or two just to kind of add some more to the decor. But I think by them adding, you know, this amount of furniture in here, it's definitely sufficient and you can utilize the space correctly. All right, so now let's take a look right here. This would be your primary bath. Look how beautiful those lighting fixtures are right there. You have crown molding on the top and the tray ceilings. You got your nice size soaking tub. It's a standalone tub right here. You have your beautiful cabinetry. I think it definitely does it justice with the tile flooring inside of here. And then if you notice in here, you have your brass handles going into your shower. You got your brass shower head with your brass knob, sink knob, right? Or shower knob. Wow. So you definitely have plenty of space inside of here with this being, again, the little sister of the Lorraine two, they definitely added enough space inside of 
the bathroom. A lot of times you might see it look skimp where you really don't have much walkway or you know the tub it kind of is protruding a little bit and i think they did a great job and this one does have two closets as well and what they did was they didn't add carpet inside of here they extended the tile which is great so that's what we're working with you got your his and her sink and then you got your little vanity area over here which is perfect. And then you do, of course, have a lot of the upgrades that make sense. Sometimes you may say it doesn't make sense just depending on your personal needs. But even looking in the great room, as you can tell, you have plenty of natural light coming inside of here. You got your ledge right here where you can add decorations and I'll pan right here so you can see how great it is. And if you notice, the beam extends from the great room all the way to the kitchen, which is fantastic. I think they did a great job of painting the beams on the sides. And then as soon as you walk into your dining area, you have your tray ceilings again. You got your wine area over there, plenty of space to add a nice size dining table. Just for reference, you have six chairs right here, and this would be what you're working with. And of course, the T Island is an upgrade, just depending if you need something like that. I think it does a great job just because you can have a lot of folks there just for entertaining and things like that. And then what we'll do is we'll take a look at the covered backyard patio. And this is what we're working right, right here. You have an extended cover patio. Just for reference, you have your patio equipment right there, and this will be what you're you're working with. In this one, I don't think you need that sliding door just because it does a great job. You have that quick access door right there. Perfect for entertaining folks. And then this will be your backyard. So yeah, if you haven't, I highly recommend going to check out the Lorraine 2. Like I said, if you want to just filter by most popular, that'll be the Lorraine 2. And I'd love to hear your thoughts, which one you like better. But that folks is the Lindy by Westin Homes. All right, family, so that was Westin Homes. Let me know what you folks thought about it. Of course, if you do want any information that's pertinent to this home or any home that I showcase on the channel, you can reach out to the contact information below and I'll see you folks on the next property tour.